All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another day of math with Ms. Hammond. I am so excited to tell you that you only have two more days until leap testing. So we have two days to really just work hard and make sure we are as prepared as we possibly can be. So today we are working on distributive property. Check out example one. In example one, we see three times two y plus one. Notice I said times because that's the operation that we will do when the three is right next to our parentheses. But before we actually solve this, I want you to really understand what this means. If I make 2y plus 1 in picture form, it would look something like this. 2y means two y's. Plus 1 is plus 1, just like this. But this is telling me that I don't just have this one time. I have it three times. So let's go ahead and make two and make three. Three times two y plus one is this as a picture. Oops, I smudged it. And so if you put it all together, you'll notice you end up with one, two, three, four, five, six y plus one, two, three. And so check it out. If we actually solve this the way that we learn how to solve it in class. We put three times two y plus one, and we draw our arrows. These arrows represent the distributive property. It represents multiplication. Three times two y is six y, and three times one is three. And voila, we have the same answer. So let's actually go to the next one because it's just a little bit more complicated. In this one, we have negative two times three minus five X plus 10. So if we were to draw a picture of this, we would look at what's in the side of our parentheses, three and negative five X. And so we could just put it like this. We're not going to draw it all out. But we don't just have this once. We have it twice. So I'm going to put another 3 and another negative 5x. But you might notice something very important. There, there is a negative sign in front of our 2. And so what this means is that everything inside the parentheses is going to become the opposite. So this three can't just be a three. It has to be negative three. Write that down. And this negative five can't just be a negative five. It has to change to a positive five because this negative tells us that we'll have the opposite. This 10 is outside of the parentheses. So that stands alone. And if we put this all together, you'll see we have negative six, positive 10 X plus 10. Oh, these pens. Try another one, plus 10. Now I cannot combine anything with my positive 10 X. So I'm gonna just keep that by itself, positive 10 X but I can combine negative six and positive 10, and that would make positive four. So let's see what this would look like without a picture. First step, write down your problem. Second step, draw your arrows only to what is inside of the parentheses. Next step, multiply. Negative two times three is negative six. Negative two times negative five X is positive 10 X. Bring down my plus 10. And then we like to do a last name chart. 
we have our x's and we have our numbers. Remember, always take the sign, so negative 6, positive 10x, and positive 10. When I add this up, I get 10x, negative 6 plus 10, different sign subtract, so I get 4. 10x plus 4. Great. All right, guys. Hopefully I refreshed your memory. We have one more question to do together. And to make things fun, I have a guest speaker. Welcome, Elsa. Hi, everybody. I'm here to teach you this last problem. We're not going to draw it, though, so I'm just going to sit right here while we draw. Step one, write down your question. Step two, draw your arrows. Step three, multiply, but only multiply by what is inside of the parentheses. One times six is six. Half of six is three. So if I put that together, 1.5 times six is nine X plus one times 10 is 10. Half of 10 is 5. Put that together. 15. Bring down my plus 2. Then I'm going to do a last main chart. I have x's and I have numbers. 9x, 15, positive 2. All right. Add it all up. 9x plus 17. What do you think, Elsa? Is that correct? Looks good to me. All right, everybody, go ahead and flip to the next page. Put your answers in class kick.